Hello, and welcome to my night library. This week on Balls Deep, we attended the first week of college at Beloit College. College, the defining period in most young people's lives, or at least what movies and high school guidance counselors have led us to believe will be the defining moment in most young people's lives. Liberal arts education is not constructed in order to impart useful skills necessarily for the outside world, but is rather a space apart from that world in which to try out new ways of thinking, challenge our identity, and redefine ourselves. I never really went to college with the proper campus and frat houses and all the fix-ins, so I'm accompanying a young lady named Olivia to her first week of school here at Beloit College, see how she adapts to her new environs, makes friends, and see what she does with who she feels she is. Among the classic contemporary depictions of, uh, specifically the beginning of college, is uh, the opening of Don DeLillo's White Noise. Um, it's a uh, kind of bucolic description of kids moving into a place as witnessed by, I believe, a professor. I've always thought this was a little purple and have major issues with Don DeLillo, so do with it as you will. I just felt like I'm supposed to mention it. What I found far more illuminating about college in America is uh, actually one of my favorite books ever, Class by Paul Fussell, during the uh, social classes of America in the 1980s. The role of college, as he sees it, is interesting because he's writing at a time when uh, there's you know, an explosion of both colleges and universities and colleges kind of turning into universities. And though he's an academic, he is well aware of the fact that there's, he's part of an industry right now that college is less about inculcating the classic liberal arts values than it is giving a you know, collegiate experience to young people and also stamping them for the working world. Political science building, science building, and then Pearson's. All right, let's do it. Let's talk about measuring creativity. You can't measure love. You can't measure beauty. These things have unchanging essence, but it's not possible to measure it. She was teaching barefoot. Yes. Fantastic. Shoes are the worst. Despite being a wildly funny and entertaining book, class is also kind of an anxiety-inducing read. Basically, like you read this whole thing assuming it's targeting you until you get to the last chapter, The X Way Out, in which he identifies basically the bohemian class. The breath of relief you get is by reading about group acts, which is the artist class. What's funny is, in the uh, like 25 or so years since he's written this, uh, I feel like group acts, uh, of which our you know student Olivia is an absolute exemplar, has kind of forged its own sort of uh, on a social hierarchy within. As bohemian and alt as everybody is, they conform to a very kind of strictured version of alt. Yeah, really <laughs> it's I'm gonna get special. I want spatula. There's a spatula right there. You're gonna spatula, he's getting fried eggs. You guys can flip yeah. each other around. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> There's a certain performative quality of being in college where you are like, I am being in college. Maybe this is too much theory, but I guess that's what college is. Just college. It's a bunch of college. Mm -mm. What do we got? Um, class, I'm pretty sure is out of print, but they've got a billion copies of this on like eBay and A Books. I keep a stack at my house to give to people which I doubt anybody reads, but I don't know, just trying to do my part. Um, that's class. <laughs>